Hey guys, Bill here. You know, as a lot of you already know, the whale shark is the biggest fish in the ocean. Now, I've always seen him as these big, gentle giants, but then this came in. The video was sent in by Amanda Yee, Karen Fraley, and spoke as Spoken Sidges. It shows what looks like a huge whale shark going after a scuba dive. But is this video for real? Or are we just looking at another big fat whale of a fake? Why don't we put on our flippers and see what we can find out? I looked around on the internet and it looks like it was first uploaded by a user named 72 Herminator. It had almost a million views at the time of this video, but offered very little information. There wasn't much worthwhile in the comment section, and in the description, there was hardly anything at all. It didn't even tell us whether the diver was injured or not. It was right about this time I decided to get a hold of my crack team of researchers, the Chewy Piranhas. Researcher Kyle Darkova quickly pointed out that whale sharks are not meat eaters, so the video must be fake. But then researcher Prom proposed the whale shark was acting out of anger after being threatened by the diver. Prom's point did make sense to me. It's kind of like elephants. They don't eat meat either, but there's plenty of videos out there that shows what happens when elephants get angry. I could tell this was going to be a tough one, so I decided to get in touch with the only man I know who could really get to the bottom of this. Marine biologist and whale shark scientist, Simon Pierce. Simon has been studying whale sharks for decades, and thanks to him, I was able to come up with this, the official answer. But before I can show you what's in here, I need to know what you're thinking up here, okay? Now, I don't care what time it is or where you are, but what I need you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if it's gonna get you in trouble or you're in a bad position for this, it's okay to pause the video here, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video, okay? Now, as a third option, which has become really popular lately, is to make your vote up here under the little I button there. You can vote up there, you can yell, you can write it, or you can do all three. I hope you do all three. You ready? And go. Yes, you can buy your Mothman t-shirts at BillsChannel.com. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few seconds, I'm going to open up this envelope and give you the official answer. But first, I want to show you some of the other crazy, wacky, real or fake submissions that came into my email box this week. This one sent in by Sky Gibson is called Water Slide Shark Encounter. Sky, I'm sure there are a lot of resorts who would love to put a shark at the bottom of a water slide, but this video is so, so fake, fake it's, it's funny. funny. Another video that was hot this week is about a guy who cuts down a tree and then this crawls out. The first one to send it in was Minecraft Planet. Minecraft, guess what? It's real. According to researcher Kyle Barkova, this is a black rat snake that thought it had found a good hiding place. When the guy cut the tree down, he also cut the snake in half. Yuck. And then there's this one sent in by Tia Fox. This video claims to show a guy with a jellyfish stuck to his face. When his friends finally get it off, his wife attempts to use an old home remedy to ease his pain. I have to pee on you! It'll take the skin away! Tia, not only is the video fake, so is the remedy. If you want to cure a jellyfish thing, what you put on it is vinegar not pee. Unless the pee happens to be so highly concentrated, like, you know, you haven't had a drink of water for three days, then it might work. But anyway, let's get on to this. If I keep going on with this stuff, I'm going to want to tell you about the kid who split his tongue in half and decided to put a zipper on it. Don't worry, it's fake. Let's get on with this, all right? All right. So many submissions. I could put hundreds of these things up. It's amazing how many there are. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here's a quote. The video claiming to show a whale shark attacking a diver has been thoroughly examined. Well, thank you very much. Based on the evidence presented, we agree with your whale shark scientist, Simon Pierce. While there is no alteration of the video itself, the claim that the whale shark is attacking the diver is nothing more than a big, fat fake. Real video, but the interpretation is wrong. Well, at least it's good to know that the guy wasn't injured. 
But then again, that leads me to my next question. If this whale shark was not attacking that guy, what the heck was going on there? Yep, so the video gave me a pretty good laugh. Um, and it did make me quite intrigued as to why the, why the whale shark was behaving so oddly. Simon spotted just a single word in the description that helped him figure out where this happened. So I googled that quickly and it's in a place called Kendrawasi Bay, uh, which is in um, Indonesia. And that's actually a place where whale sharks are used to getting fed by people. Now the reason the whale sharks are being fed by humans in this location is really interesting. Listen to this. There at Naberi, uh, there used to be a lot of fishermen catching small fish in nets and the whale sharks used to try and suck the fish out of the nets. So to keep them away from destroying their fishing gear, uh, the, whale, the people started feeding handfuls of fish to the whale sharks. Okay, now the trick worked really well. While some fishermen distracted the whale sharks by feeding them by hand, the other fishermen would put out their nets and get their catch. But what happened was, the tourists who go to this area saw the fishermen feeding the whale sharks, so then the tourists started feeding the whale sharks. So what's really going on here is the sharks are used to being fed by people. Uh, the divers in their order and uh, the shark wants to get some food. The whale sharks are going, hey buddy, where's my free fish handout? And the divers are going, I, I don't have any fish. Nobody told me I had to bring that. Get away from me. Whale sharks are not dangerous at all to people. They've only uh, adapted to eat fish that are less than about 10 centimeters long and mainly just fish eggs and other plankton and things. So really people are not anywhere near on the menu. And you can see on the clip as well, you can't even see the whale shark's teeth. Like they're not adapted for like biting people or anything like that. Wow, amazing story, huh? Well, that's all the time I have for this video. I want to thank everybody who sent it in, and I also want to send a special thanks to Simon Pierce for helping us solve the little riddle with that one. And by the way, if you want to see some truly amazing photos of whale sharks underwater, stop by Simon's website. I guarantee you, these pictures will blow your mind, okay? I'm gonna leave a link here in the video and also one in the description box. So head on over there and believe me, it's gonna be experience. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have something very special for you and that is a pop quiz. Now, we all know that the whale sharks are the biggest fish in the sea, but the question is, how much do they have to eat to stay that big? Now, scientists have an estimate of how much they eat. They don't know specifically, but they do have a pretty good estimate. So here's the question. How much does a whale shark eat in an average day in terms of weight? Is it A, 4.2 kilos, B, 42 kilos, or C, 142 kilos? Leave me your answer in the comment section below. And then if you want the official answer, just follow these instructions. In the subject heading of your email, write whale shark food, just like you see it here, and then send that to Bill's channel at gmail.com for an instant reply. But make sure the subject heading says whale shark food, just like you see it here, or you might have to wait a few days to get your answer. I'll see you next time.